Hello there, how are you guys? Tell me please, have you ever been in such a situation when you are speaking with someone and they are saying something to you and you understand everything, like each individual word, but it doesn't make any sense for you in general? There can be quite a few reasons for that, but what if it's all about homophones? What if they cause this confusion? Have you ever thought about it? What are you saying? You don't know what homophones are. Oh, that's not a problem at all, as today I've prepared a lesson for you guys exactly about homophones. So, what is a homophone? A homophone is a word that is pronounced the same as another word, but has a different meaning or spelling, or both. For example, one, one, nose, nose, right, right, peace, Peace. The main secret how to memorize these little tricky words is to learn them in context, believe me. You can, of course, try to remember the list of them, but to tell the truth, it is really difficult to do, and it can be done only by those who have a really good memory. So that is why I've decided to give you explanations in this way. First, I will show you two or three words that have the same pronunciation, but they are written differently. Then you will see example sentences with these homophones. I will also pronounce them so that you'll be able to repeat after me. For example, one, one. I have one apple. I won the lottery. These two words are homophones. The words that you should probably memorize to eliminate confusions during conversations. I don't want to drag things out any longer, and let's get started. And here's our first pair. Alter, alter. The verb to alter means to change the appearance, character or structure of something. For example, the city has altered very much since 1990. Drugs can alter your perception of reality. I took the coat back to the shop to have it altered. As for the noun alter, this is a holy table used in religious ceremonies. For example, the bride approached the altar. He knelt in front of the altar and prayed. The couple exchanged vows at the altar. Next pair. Bury, bury. So, berries are small round fruit that grow on a bush or a tree. For example, she took a nice juicy berry from the basket and popped it into her mouth. Strawberry ice cream is my favorite. This jam is made of blueberries. And the second word of the pair is the verb to bury, which means to put or hide something or someone underground. For example, they found a buried treasure in the garden. Robin Hood asked to be buried where his arrow landed. The dog trotted off to bury his bone. Next pair. Ceiling, ceiling. A ceiling is a horizontal surface that forms the top part or roof inside a room. For example, the ceiling is decorated with paintings. They have imposed a ceiling on pay rises. 
The rooms were spacious, with tall windows and high ceilings. Here I wanted to pay your attention to this phrase, to impose a ceiling on something. In this case, the word ceiling is used in the figurative sense. Here it means an upper limit. As for the next homophone word, ceiling, it signifies putting an official mark on a document, sometimes made with wax, that shows that it is legal or it has been officially approved. For example, he was sealing an envelope with secret papers. The letter bears the seal of the king. The lawyer stamped the certificate with her seal. Let's move on and learn this pair of homophones. Draft, draft. So, a draft is an earlier version of a letter, book or a speech. For example, this is only the first draft of my speech. I read the first draft and thought it was very good. First, do a rough draft of your essay. And this draft is a kind of air that comes into the place in an undesirable way. Just remember that this is the British spelling of this word. For example, Jane could feel a draft coming from the hole in the wall. There is a draft in this room. Can you close the window? I'm in a draft. Next pair. Earn, earn. The verb to earn means to receive money in return for work that you do. For example, John earns his living as a truck driver. I earn over $80,000 a year. How much do you earn, if you don't mind me asking? On the other hand, this noun earn is a large round container that a person can use to serve coffee or tea. Or it can be also a decorative container, especially one that holds the ashes of the body of a dead person after it has been cremated. For example, they found an old urn under the stone. Does that urn follow and break later in the movie? The coffee urn had a lovely look. One more pair is faint, faint. This verb to faint has a meaning of suddenly becoming unconscious for a short time and usually falling down. For example, she faints at the sight of blood. I nearly fainted in the heat. She was deathly pale and looked as if she might faint. As for this verb, to faint, it means to make a deceptive or distractive movement, especially during a fight or a game. For example, he fainted to pass the ball and then shot it into the net. Make a feint in the east, but then hit in the west. The countess became mainly one of feint and counterfeint. And the last pair of homophones for today. Guerrilla, guerrilla. A guerrilla is a large ape that comes from Western Africa. For example, the gorilla had a massive forehead.
the mountain gorilla is on the verge of extinction. The gorilla rattled the bars of its cage. And the last word for today. A gorilla. This is a person who fights as a part of an unofficial army, usually against an official army or police force. For example, guerrilla groups are active in the province. A small band of guerrillas has blown up a train in the mountains. Mobility is very important in guerrilla warfare. And now let's have some practice. Of course, you all know how important this spelling is, especially if we are talking about homophones. And that is why I've prepared a word search for you. So please look carefully and find the homophone pairs from today's lesson. Write down in the comment section how many pairs you found. Or, even better, write there in the comments what these pairs are. Okay, time's up. Have you found all the homophones? Super! So, guys, these are words that I've prepared for you today. If you want more examples of homophones, or if you need to learn the full list of homophones with example sentences, you are very welcomed on my website. And don't forget to watch and learn the next portion of homophones in my next video lessons. Your homework for today is pretty easy, I think. Choose one pair of homophones and make your sentences with them, at least two sentences for each homophone. And don't forget to share them in the comments. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet not to miss new video lessons. And come back from time to time to refresh your memory. You can also practice as my other students do, you know. They learn the material as soon as they release a new lesson. They do homework and send it to me. Unfortunately, yes, most of them are a little bit shy and they choose not to write in the comment section. If you prefer the same option, please go ahead, send me a message. And then they add the lesson to playlist English with Mila and listen to the lessons when they are doing something else, like washing the dishes, cooking, exercising, working out, etc. So, you can do it in the same way to practice your pronunciation skills and not to forget vocabulary. This is very important, guys. And that is all for today. See you guys in my other lessons. The next video lesson will be the second part of homophones. Press the bell icon not to miss it. Take care, guys.